Hello guys, this will be a quick video regarding how to remove and install the fork on the uh, Honda VDX 1300RRS. That has nothing to do with the VTX 1300C, it's a complete different setup. Uh, on a C, the fork are exposed, so everything is easy, way easier. Uh, it's basically a naked bike compared to the S and the R. So I already have one side reinstalled, and I struggled to remove them simply because I didn't know uh, how it was made inside this chrome bottle but now that I do it's way easier to grease the right place if I can see it like that because uh, when you remove it uh, you take the w, WD-40 uh, spray can and you spray in every gap that you can reach like in top air around the cap of the fork uh, in this gap here, because you got a big rubber right here under the lower triple three plate, uh, I will show you in the other chrome bottle. Well, I don't even know if the real name is chrome bottle, but it looks like a bottle. So, uh, so the top section, actually, the O ring is there. It's not a big trouble, you know. The O ring is there, and all these rubbers are there to keep. Uh, them or this from, from any vibration or rattle because you don't want rattle sound on your fork or anywhere on your bike when you're riding uh, so yeah this top o-ring is not a problem the problem is the big like one inch thick i don't know if you can see uh, under the light will be easier so it's almost an inch thick and this rubber ring is grabbing on the fork like crazy so you have to spray a lot of WD-40 to be able to slide the fork out of it so I will show you how to reinstall it so uh, it's the same way uh, removing it that I will show you how to uh, reinstall uh, so at least now you will know how it's made inside this chrome bottle Oh, and by the way, I don't bother making a video on how to replace the seal on these forks simply because there are like dozens of videos on how to do it on the VTX 1300C. Uh, but the, it's the same way on a C, on a H, on the S. The fork are made the same. So you have the, the same component in there. So there's no point for me showing it to you because... As I said, there are dozens of videos on YouTube, so you just take your pick. But I will show you how to reinstall these simply because uh, I would have loved to find a video when I did remove that the first time. So I didn't found any, so I'm making one. So if you have this trouble, at least you will know how to proceed and you will keep or you will avoid the struggle. So first thing first, um, you need to... You don't need to, but I did clean the, the holes of the triple tree with a sandpaper because there was dirt, rust, and not exactly rust because it's chrome in aluminum. But anyway, it was dirty. So uh, just a couple pass with the sandpaper to get everything uh, smooth and clean. Uh, so now I will install the chrome bottle. So they're going together. You cannot put one and not the other. You have to put them together. Uh, so the slot here is going for the bottom of the triple tree here. And the reason why you need to put them together before is because if you install this one, you cannot install the top one after that. So you put her in its place. You line up the tree, the, the hole as much as you can and you slide it in the triple tree so it's just that easy after that i will put the bolt i will move the camera so you can see a bit because it's pretty tight and there's no much room especially with my uh, fog light 
wiring. There's not much room to put the screw in place, but after you have one done, it's easier. And you don't tight them straight away. You need to put the fork in before tightening them because if there's an alignment problem uh, in one of them, the fork won't get in. There you go, now they're loose. Now I can put my fork in. Okay, here, so there's two steps you need to do, or it's easier if you do that. Uh, of course, being gentle, but I wedge a flat screwdriver in both pinch uh, section of the triple tree. So it's opening the entry a bit. It's easier to pull or to push the fork inside. And the second step is to, I don't have any WD-40, but I got Jigaloo. Uh, you spray a ton of Jigaloo on that rubber because uh, the fork will just stuck at the rubber and it won't it, do, it will not want to go anywhere i'm also uh putting some oil on the fork so everything is getting smooth as smooth as possible so yeah these are two steps that will make your life way easier uh when re reinstalling the fork or putting back the fork on the bike Don't need much, just a little opening. There you go. Now, the magic spray. Don't be shy. And I know it will spray over the bike, but I need to wash it anyway. I could have just put something on the bike, but need a good cleanup so now we'll put some oil on the fork and of course if you do both fork in the same time make sure not to mismatch them because the the one with the caliper bracket go on the right side so don't don't make that mistake you will ache yourself so now i will know if i put enough still tight there you go. There you go. Now we'll just tight the pinch bolt. Make sure the fork doesn't go anywhere because with the hoil and the jigaloo or the WE40 on the rubber, if I let go on the fork, it will fall on the ground. So I will install the pinch bolt. Make sure I put both fork the same height. Okay guys, so the torque for the fork, um, in the manual you can see that the bottom bridge pinch bolt, the torque is 39 foot pounds. Uh, the top bridge bolt is 70, uh, 17 sorry, foot pounds. Uh, the cap, I believe, yeah, the, the fork cap is 70, 17 foot pound as well. And the cover bolt, they are nine, nine pounds. The cover bolt must be the chrome bottle that I, I'm referring to earlier in the video. So, and about these, now that the fork is in, don't forget to tighten them because still loose. So now you have the specs for the torques and you know how to do that. So uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate and post them in the comment section below and I will answer to all of them as soon as possible. So this is it for now. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified as soon as I will release another video. So on this, I wish everybody a great day and see you later. Bye.